oh, sorry. Kind of over here imagining that Gastonia was my pet. This is Gastonia. This is an Ankylosauria, a member of the Ankylosauria. Armored head, armored skull, cute little beak, a gap with the super teeny tiny teeth. We'll get a close up of it. His eye, this is all solid bone. You can pet him, I don't even know if he'd feel you much because it's just so rocky strong. But why? Well, we'll get back to that in a moment. Not only does he have a bony head, he's got scutes. These little big shoulder spikes, I guess little big, these big shoulder spikes, shoulder spikes popping out the side. Here's a shoulder blade, truly a shoulder spike. Squat low to the ground, hard to tip over. This animal lived at a time when animals like Utah Raptor were out bullying people, trying to get a good meal. Tratophonius, other big tyrannosaurids. This would have been an easy mark. Doesn't run fast, clearly. Tiny little squat legs. Heavy, probably a big belly hanging out with no protection. You could flip him over, you get a good meal. But you gotta kick him over. These scutes would have kept you from, as you went up to kick it, all you're gonna do is destroy your shins. Just rip right through them. This is solid bone and tough. Had another trick. This particular one has this shield, this pelta, and this shield is thick, thick bone, and you'd have a need a Tyrannosaurus powered bite to rip through it, but Tyrannosaurus was many years later, so the animals at the time couldn't have punctured through this. If you're gonna go back and kick them over, you got to deal with the scutes all the way down the tail, plus this tail it has some flexibility to it and could stab you and impale you with these scutes. So this animal, our friend Gastonia burgi, is absolutely designed to survive the predation of big, mean, monstrous, meat-eating dinosaurs. Hard to kick over, defended. Now, as these animals went through time, they got bigger and bigger heavier and heavier, and they had a huge tail club. And Kylosaurus magnaventris has a tail club that's like this. It's gigantic. And the American Museum of Natural History has it, uh, the material, the actual original fossil there. But other tail clubs have been found. Just gorgeous tail clubs. Our friend Gastonia was one of the earliest of these armored dinosaurs and does not have the tail club, but that's okay because he's well on his way to being safe. He's a pretty successful animal, all things considered. Here we have his teeny tiny teeth. Yes, indeed. Those teeth are teeny tiny. I'll put my pinky finger in his mouth for scale. Very small. Very cool, though. 